Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. In today's video I want to talk about my hard decision making I have regarding my car insurance. I have talked to two different insurance companies about a half for shackering, so like a comprehensive insurance but not a full, more like a half. It's hard to describe that in English I guess. But yes, so I contacted Trukansa, which is in Sweden, the insurance company who is dealing a lot with Tesla. So they are working together during the first two weeks because you get like this free insurance. They are also doing the Von Scott guarantee, which is like this Swedish thing for new bought cars in the first three years. And then the other company I was talking to is Lens für Schäckringer, which is my own local bank. And because they give discount, the more insurance you have with them, of course, it also made sense to ask them what they offer. And yes, so the thing, however, is it is a really, really difficult decision for me because most of the cases, they are very similar. So let's talk about the price first, because it's all about the money, right? So for Trukansa, I would pay... 524 crowns a month which is around about 47 euros and for Lenz for Schäckinger the way I would do it with them which is similar to the one with Trukansa would be 507 crowns which corresponds to 45 euros a month. The most important thing with those is always the deductibles so how much do you have to pay even though you have the insurance and let's talk about the basic insurance they are identical. For both, you have to pay 1,000 crowns, so somewhat around 90 euros. So that's identical, no problem. Then we go into the details for this half insurance, this half for Schäckring. And here we start to have differences. So for like fires or like theft and class damages, Trukansa says you have to pay 1,500 crowns in addition. For Lenz für Schäckringer, it would be 1,800, so 300 crowns more, so somewhat around like 28 euros more if I would choose Lenz für Schäckringer. However, regarding like the glass damages, we have to go a bit more in the detail. If you change, for example, your windscreen or other things, the Trukansa, like I said, is 1,500 and Lenz für Schäckringer 1,800. However, if you just repair certain like stone chips or whatever, then Lenz für Schäckringer is free, so you pay nothing. And Trukansa says you have to pay 100 crowns, so 9 euros, which is also nearly nothing, but still it is a bit. Then there are other things that are, yeah, pretty similar in my opinion. You have, for example, the Swedish Drüll, where I don't really know what it means, but I try to understand, for example, if you have like a coffee in your car and you spill it and you, I don't know, have for example like just some stains on the on the seats then Trukansa would say you still have to pay 1500 yourself whereas Lenz für Schäckringer says you only have to pay 1000. In this case Trukansa is more expensive. And now let's talk about the important things regarding electric vehicles. First we have the machine insurance or like the, the unit like the drive unit insurance. So for Lenz für Schäckringer they say that I have to pay 3,000 crowns in the first 60,000 kilometers. In this, like, if I have below 60,000 kilometers, I have to pay 3,000 crowns max, for example, if the battery is broken. For Lenz für Schäckringer, I only have to pay 1,500 crowns. If we now go into a higher mileage, so up to 100,000 kilometers, it is 5,000 crowns for both. And then it switches. So for the uh, Trukansa, it becomes 8,000 crowns up to 170,000 kilometers, whereas it is only 7,000 crowns for Lenz für Schäckringer, but also only till 150,000 kilometers. So there are some differences, but because I am not planning to like buy an insurance now and never change it again, I only focus like on the first year. I would say Trukansa is better because it's only half the deductible and I will not be driving 40,000 kilometers in the first year. But now let's talk about the biggest difference and also the difference where I really, really struggle to make a decision because this is a huge difference. And this difference is regarding 
the deductibles on the van scott guarantee so on this additional insurance that you have on new bought cars because trukhansa is doing this additional thing for tesla you get if you have the half for shaking with them 4000 crowns lower deductibles on damages that are falling under this van scott guarantee so for example if i have a car accident someone hits me i have to pay 4000 crowns less with Drukhansa when I do the half shaking then when I would do the one with lens shaking because the Warnsguard guarantee is always with Drukhansa. So they would reduce the amount of yeah, deductible a lot. However, lens shaking has one really, really important and good argument against that. And that is that they reduce parts of this Warnsguard guarantee which are not car accidents. And in this case, it means, for example, collisions with animals, with deers or moose. And there, they reduce it to only 1,000 crowns deductible. And the same goes for, like, damages on your car that other people did because they just felt like it. For example, just, like, break a window or destroy a tire. There also, Lenz Verschickringer says, you only have to pay 1,000 crowns max. However, in Trukansa, there is nothing sad about that. So that means it all falls under this Vaughn Scott guarantee and there the max would be, and that is now the big thing because I have not said it yet, the Vaughn Scott guarantee has a deductible of 13,750 crowns, which is, I don't know, 1,200 something euros. If you take the Trukhansa though, like I said, 4,000 crowns less. So it is, I don't know, 900 euros, 9,750 crowns. But as I said, the animal collisions and like the plant destruction from other people on your car's tires or whatever, they are not separately um, protected. So what this means basically to sum it up is that Trukhansa is the better deal protecting my money basically when I will be in a car accident with a different human, but only when I'm driving. Whereas the Lens for Schäckringer is protecting me against the environment, so against the wildlife, and also protecting me against damages that my car could suffer from when it's parked. However, it is not protecting me from having a traffic accident. And that is my big struggle that I have right now. Because I don't know if it is more likely to end up in a car accident with someone else, or if I end up in an animal collision or more likely like in a parking spot someone opens the door hits my car things like this but on the other side i also have no idea how much i would have to pay like when someone hits my door and you have like a small dent or like um, you see like a scratch i have no idea how much that would cost me i know that when this video is coming out i probably have already made my decision but feel free to include your decision in the comments would you say like it is more safe to only pay 900 euros during traffic accidents but also with deers and moose and like during parking situation would you say okay i take the risk of 350 euros more during a traffic accident but i'm safe with animals and when the car is parked. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm really looking forward to see what you guys think in the comments about this. And besides that, let's talk about my daily life for a short time. This video was basically now recorded after my cool trip in yesterday's video. If you have not seen that, check it out right there. And well, you see all that happened on Saturday and on Friday, I can just sum it up. My day was pretty normal work day. We were all like, oh, another week, but it's weekend now. We got more ice cream. That was pretty nice. Yes, but enough said. I hope you had a wonderful day and see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.